Well, this is new at 5.30. Flooded residents on the South Shore are getting help pumping out that water. But once the water is gone, there's still a mess left behind. WBC's Bill Shields is live tonight in Situate with more. Bill? Back with Joanne. Good afternoon. Sorry, we were just talking with a neighbor over here. Uh, you know, it's been a week since that storm hit. And you look around parts of the South Shore, and it still looks like this. I mean, I never, I never knew there, there were so many rocks in the ocean, and I live along the ocean. And even in one area on the Marshfield-Duxbury line, there was still flooding until today. A week after the storm hit, and parts of the South Shore are still flooded. Here in Duxbury, a neighborhood on the Marshfield line needed a massive pump from MEMA to pump the water back to where it came from. We got hit with one tide after another. Paul McAleer could finally walk out of his home. The damage to the seawall is the worst I've ever seen. Yeah. But the um, structural damages to the home is the worst since 78, no doubt about it. In situate, some waterfront neighborhoods resemble a moonscape. Rick Gander's summer home is surrounded by boulders now, and part of his porch roof is on the ground, and he's had enough. Despite the flag flying at a neighbor's house, which reads, don't give up the ship. It's, we're optimistic again. We'll have a nice summer here and then maybe put it on the market. George Simmons' family has had a home at Cedar Point since 1937. This week has been almost record-setting. Oh, I think this one's equal to uh, 91. Do you? Okay. Yeah. And there was a lot of water coming over the wall. You had uh, 10 successive tides and water coming, uh, coming over the wall. You can take a look around the yard and you can see what it did. Back live now. Hopefully we're past the worst of it. I know it's March, but hopefully we're past the worst of it. And as for that neighborhood in Duxbury is flooded, there are some concerns right now about contaminants in that water that's left there and in the ground when all of this finally subsides. Reporting live from Situate, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Bill, thank you. And in